All right, take three. We are having a great day here. As you can see, this is my CGC. It is completely loaded up because we have now attempted two videos on setup and one crashed and I lost it. And the second one uploaded 95%, said it was complete and stopped. So, third time's a charm. Positive attitude. And here we go. There is the visitors tab, the home tab, the uh, away bench, away panel, away bullpen, thinking uh, hockey there. Home bench, home bullpen, ballpark. Ballpark is a key. Um, let me also open up one of my team sheets here. Yeah, bear with me a minute. There's my 1980 file. It's fine. Milwaukee. As you can see, I don't have my inactive players over on the inactive side because I play this season all on my desktop. So the cards are... I go through and do transactions by adding or removing cards from the active one and flipping them over on the back of the stack. So every player is going to be on these for this instruction video. There's my batters, my pitchers, and my ballpark. The uh, home run to fly ball numbers. Um, some of the newer seasons have ballpark effects in there and different ranges and there are actually dual numbers listed in some of these. So that in mind, I put them over in these nine squares here for each section. Now, left field has a left, right, center, same as center, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is left field, right field, uh, left field, center field, right field. Um, they has to be there in order for my uh, macros to work properly. Also, your foul territory numbers must be separated by commas. Some of the seasons have uh, slashes or minuses in there. And um, my uh, macro won't pick that up. Anyway, <laughs> when you uh, get all that put in there, hit the fixed stadium. It will clear this out. It'll put your foul territory numbers down in here. And as you can see, it adds one over here to where they are. That helps my macros later for picking up the uh, proper um, range uh, for whether the fly ball or the home run or not. It also automatically rolls your weather for you handy dandy here you can move up your different tags if you want i don't because i have trouble leaving parts of them behind so it's still and partly cloudy today and the wind's going to be blowing off slightly to right field uh not that there's much wind it's really not going to affect anything and we'll go to the visitors tab um if you were to paste these from your uh, benches etc and say you were putting Rick Manning in here first just click there control V then you come down here to these buttons this is for the visiting team you click on center field because he's playing center field as you see right here and you click four six for his air six for his arm you're going to do that for every position of course except DH and you're going to flip over here and you're going to put your pitcher in here. Once you've loaded your pitcher in, you will hit the warm up button right here and these will automatically fill in for you based on the rolls. Okay? I'm not going to do that because I don't want to lose my, my pitcher's mats. Uh, same goes for the home team. When you're completely done, you will see that here are the Milwaukee fielders. Uh, I can uh, belay that. That's uh, Cleveland fielders, and they're pretty horrible. Um, uh, maybe average in the outfield, but subpar everywhere else. Um, not not horrible errors. Third base is pretty solid. In the 80s, a lot of the third base were 30, 40, 50, 60. I even see a 70 out there somewhere. Uh, not too really good in the arms either. Uh, on the visitors tab, this is Milwaukee. You can see a much better defensive team. Some screens may or may not allow them to be shown easily enough. And um, I, uh, you'll just scroll over to use them if you have to. I, I really only ever have to accent 
SSM on uh, hustle plays and um, and uh, possible double plays and stuff where I need to see if the uh, pivot man can turn it. Um, things to know. Fielder's reaction right here, zero is a 10. That's used in uh, seeing how well your fielder reacted to the out. Pitching count, fully function functional. Wow. Uh, edit that out. Um, here is the adjustment that gets added or subtracted to the interaction number for the pitcher to ascertain whether you have a hit or an out. The um, uh, When you're rolling dice, uh, it's going to ask you for the batter's offensive rate. The batter's offensive rate is right here. Um, it's actually more like a clutch uh, rate, I believe. Um, that's for use with the pitch count setup. Um, I had to add that in for the pitch count to function properly. I'd like to automate all that, but it's going to take some time. I just got to go and, and uh, figure out how to get the computer to recognize all these numbers. It's easily done. It just takes time, and I get sidetracked playing games. As you can see, your errors and your X's will show here. All you'll need to do is click on that and enter the information that it asks for. Whenever that clicks up, that means there's a possible error. Um, as per FTP games uh, rules. Up here, it'll show hustle. You can see that slow roller hustle, um, hustle regular hustle. Um, a pitcher throws, uh, uh, first base throws to the pitcher. Um, right here, oh, clicked on the stop. Uh, just did that again. That's the stolen base and pickoff area. If you want to do a pickoff, you pick, you, you hit right up. And then maybe you don't want to do that. I got to update that macro. I think there's a, a slash there and my computer's looking for a zero. So I need to put an if then in that uh, that uh, routine. So, yeah, you know what to do. Uh, that'll that'll be the next time I save my, uh, my CGC. Anyway, right here will show up red when, when the area possibility of a steal it'll also give you the number to compare to the base runner stole the uh, question mark rating to see whether he's going to attempt to steal or not you click that that will uh, run the uh, pickoff uh, routine and it'll ask you whether you get you for some information to tell you whether it gets a good lead or not and ask you if you still want to steal or not um, click any information you want the results will show up right here Okay, um, hit the outs right here, out the hits right there. That result will show out right there. Uh, right here, you will get your hit batsman and then your bulks and stuff like that showing up. Um, right here is your warm-up button for pitchers. Home runs, the fly balls, fly balls, the home runs. My routines are a little sketchy yet. I still got to clean them up. But, so double check them when you run them just to make sure that they're 100%. That result will be right there. Your extra die 100 and D20 roll is right here. Just click on the uh, the uh, D100 area to roll that roll that die. And if you need to transfer that over to check for a, a hit to an out or an out to hit, just hit that button and it'll pull it up here. Your advanced runner is right here. Most of that works. Um, I don't think any that don't work. Uh, up here, though, um, put a, a pop-ups work. Um, infield hits don't. Um, foul outs don't. Um, but everything else, I think, works. You'll notice that it won't look right if it's not working properly. Then just hit the charts. I'm working on it. Uh, get get what you pay for, um, and that is basically it. You'll see the rest as we play, and I'll do that in a uh, separate video. Um, we already rolled for Rick Manning, as you'll see. He has a zero, so I'd put a zero in there. Um, Ninety-three, and I'm not going to use it because I already you know, he already grounded out the second base, but that would have been a hit that now. And in that instance, I would have hit. Hit the out, 
It's, it would have been a 47 on Manning's card is a single left, so I would do a hit one. Uh, field seven, ignore that P. That's what I'm talking about. That doesn't work. And I'm just going to say uh, a, a short stop. As you can see, according to the charts, that's giving you a short stop range check. If you look at your, uh, the lower numbers have infields as opposed to outfield. You have a good snag by your infielder. Um, it'll show you the short stops rate, the range check, and the number that you should roll to get that. Um, that should all be functioning correctly. If not, I've played quite a few games wrong. Um, trying to find my chart to verify it. I know I've done this, but I always question myself. Now I'm under the gun because I'm live. I hate messing up. And, okay, shortstop rate six. So I want to hit the out. Going down to a three is 11. So, yes, out if 11 or less. So, seeing, yeah, that works. I, um, and that will be, it'll automatically roll your extra dice down here. And uh, that was, it actually does it before that box pops up. And the 13's out of the range, so that would have stayed a hit. Now, like I said, we already rolled for Manning, and he got a ground out. So that will be it for this vid. I'm going to put that up, and then we'll have a uh, few innings live, and hopefully I won't mess up too bad. Uh, thank you for joining.